chestnut tree, chestnut tree. Look, I've got a dying little monkey on my knee. It's difficult to choose. <laughs> Let go. Uh, uh, uh. Talk show host, talk show host. Drop your trousers, take a shit, and put it on your toes. <laughs> Hiding dildos in their socks. Jailhouse rock, jailhouse rock. I can tell I'm lonely when I'm talking to my cock. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to pay homage, to pay our respects to a man whom we all owe a lot, especially, of course, the world of science. Obviously, I'm talking about Dr. Hamilton. <laughs> Give it up for Dr. Hamilton. He gives us all his pills. An honest man who knows his trade, don't underestimate his skills. Never lost a patient, always in the lead. If you challenge him, he won't leave you alone until you bleed. Dr. Hamilton. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm talking about Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah. Help me, Dr. Hamilton. Why can't I be like you? Tell me what to say and think and tell me what to do. Please, Dr. Hamilton, I'm just a simple man. But if you take me by the hand, I'm gonna do the best I can. Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah. I'm talking about Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah. He likes to learn from other cultures when he goes abroad. He always brings a little orange suitcase that he bought. In there he keeps a picture of a donkey on his back. It helps to bring him in a state of joy and keeps him on his track. Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah. I'm talking about Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah. 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 He tried to be a politician, but it all went wrong. His, his, speeches, his speeches were confusing, very racist and too long. At the end, he ran away and climbed into a tree and shouted, You can all go fuck yourselves and don't you vote for me, Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah, Dr. Hamilton. Oh yeah, he, he, uh, <laughs> he, he calls his parents late at night and keeps on asking why, nothing more, that's all he says, and then he starts to cry, <laughs> this goes on for hours, and then right before it ends, he says, you may be my parents, but you'll never be my friends, Dr. Hamilton. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
He bought himself a boat and he went sailing on the sea, bumped into another boat, and then catastrophe. Seven people died, but Dr. Hamilton was fine. He said, accidents will happen, and they were no friends of mine. Dr. Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, Dr. Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Sometimes he's just gone, and I can't find him anywhere. Suddenly, he's in his garden, laughing in a chair, dressed up like an Eskimo or like a kangaroo. But then he gets up, goes to work, because there's so much still to do for Dr. Hamilton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Help me, Dr. Hamilton. Why can't I be like you? Tell me what to say and think and tell me what to do. Please, Dr. Hamilton, I'm just a simple man. But if you take me by the hand, I'm going to do the best I can. Dr. Hamilton. Oh, oh, Dr. Hamilton. Marvelous figure. You know, there's things in life you just don't want to see. You don't want to see your own father cry or masturbate, <laughs> or both at the same time. <laughs> Imagine how I felt in this football stadium. <laughs> and the worst thing is that I'm, I'm part to blame because I, uh, to be honest, I, I, have, um, I have sexually molested my father between the age of uh, 14 and 17. Couldn't help myself. He was too fucking vulnerable. <laughs> and this, this fucked him up because, you know, you, 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 you can't be someone's role model and, and someone's bitch at the same time. <laughs> you can't. And, 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 and uh, bear in mind that this was once a proud man. He was a magician, my father. He was known as the great Ubi Dubi. And he had a marvelous trick. He could, he could pull top hats out of a rabbit's mouth. <laughs> yes, like that. Hey! And then he would put the rabbit on a pedestal, and the rabbit could speak. That, that, well, it could say two words, uh, thus and nevertheless. <laughs> yes. So he put him on a pedestal, and he, uh, my father would clap his hands once, and the rabbit said, thus. <laughs> and he clapped two times, nevertheless. And that's it, my father was a hero. My father was known as the great Ubi Dubi with a rabbit that says, thus and nevertheless. <laughs> but then the rabbit died! And suddenly, he was a nobody. And he bought a new rabbit, and he started working with a new rabbit, but it didn't work like it used to be. It was tragic. In fact, it was a horrible sight to see. In fact, this image is haunting me till this day. I will never forget this tragic image, this tragic image of my father, the great Ubi Dubi, desperately, desperately trying to teach his new rabbit how to speak. <laughs> Thus, Thus, <laughs> nevertheless, Nevertheless, <laughs>